Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cardinal's Cauldrons. My name is William. And I'm Kevin. And this is a production of Geektopia Island. Here, last time we talked about our folks. Here, we're going to dinosaurs. Shoot. And going to Jurassic Park. Hey, are y'all ready for a prehistoric beating? Let's do it. Yeah. Let's see what we got. First little dude is a walking ballista. He's like, he's not a dino, but you know what he does? He pokes him. He pokes him with a little, little ballista. Yeah, all but, about it. Yeah, pretty much. There's many dinos out there now. They're with the new rivals of Ixalan. They're beautiful. They're more. They're better. And uh, right now, with this one, it's basically a couple of dinosaurs that I just really want to play with, and all of them have enraged pretty much. So that's where that's where I'm starting off with Walking Ballista. I'm I'm down, dude, because he's. He's XX, comes in with X counters, yeah. and you remove one and deal one damage to a creature or player. And you can pay four, put a counter on a thing. On him. Honestly, like, I really, I figured this guy would be in more decks just in general, like Redburn or whatever, but, you know. Because he is, he's just a little walking, like, damage dealer right there. He's so good. He, he does a lot. He does a lot. Alright. Alright, with that, move into the, the, to the, one of the big dudes. Oh, yeah. This is one of the. This is really one of the main cards I wanted to super play. Uh, Siege Horn Ceratops, green white two two. He has enrage. Hopefully he gets to get be poked because when he does, he gets two counters. Just straight up. Just straight Seems up. Seems good. Two counters. Uh, I really missed. Uh, I one of the like first major decks that I made that I was actually competitive was like a Naya creature deck, and this is what I'm trying to get to with this. And this two drop really like fills my heart with that. <laughs> like, I, the dude's I, good. Yeah. I mean, it's two two for two that gets bigger every time it's dealt damage, all day. Now it's really hard to do one damage generally, like from creatures or spells or whatever. But when you get him to that first enrage, I feel like he just wins the game, as long as he stays alive, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. Yeah. Next up is a ranging raptors. This little dude. He's like, three mana, two three, yeah. with enrage, and you go get a basic land card and put it into play. Tap and he's dealt damage. Yeah, you ramp at growth with him, and with walking ballista, if you're able to get at least two counters on him, then you're just like, ping. Okay, go get a land, and then hopefully later you'll just keep pinging him to get more lands. All day. Or the other spells that we have in here helps get more lands. Like it's just really good. It helps you ramp up. Speaking really cool. of dudes that help. Oh yes. Forerunner of the Empire. Now everyone talks about him and Polyraptor and how amazing that is, and it is. It's super awesome. But him just in a normal enraged deck is just he's super serial, guys. He's, he's really good. Serial. So he costs four, comes into play, you go search for a dino, any dino you want, put it on top of your deck. When a dinosaur comes into play, deal one damage to all creatures. <laughs> Which it's a May ability, thankfully, just in case you don't want something to die. But that's just really good. It's so good. It's like very good. In a deck like this where everything's gonna get mad when it gets hit, yeah. Seems real good. And it's only one damage, so it's not gonna be enough to be lethal on anything. It's yeah. just enough to piss it off. You're going and poking that bear. Boop. Exactly. And most of your dudes at least you can maybe try to do it twice. Like the Ceratops we just talked about. Uh search for him, play him, now he's a four four. Yeah. Oh yeah. And whenever you play another dude, he gets bigger. Alright, another little dude that helps out with dudes getting bigger. And I mean, he's big himself as yeah. a raging Regisar. We, we we just talked about this before a little bit the video, but he's kind of a sleeper hit, I think, especially in a deck like this. Oh, yeah. Like, he's a 4-4 four, for four, 4, which is good. And whenever he attacks, deals 1 damage to target creature or player. So he can swing in for 5, for 4, or he can piss off one of your dinos. All day. Like, like... Or ping off a, a pirate or just something small on their side, you know? Dude, this dude's so good. I used him in the pre-release and he just, he doesn't care. He doesn't care what you are, I'm going to hit it. He's just a really solid creature, pretty yeah. much. Oh, yeah. All right, the next one is uh, an old one, but a good one. Yeah. Is the Ripjaw Raptor. He's been in many of the videos that we've done. Oh, here. yeah. Uh, I feel like a four drop, four five in green always wins standard, and but he's not being played at all. And when he gets enraged, you draw a card, which, you know, should take you over the top. Yeah, it with seems that. good. And I mean, with the Walking Ballista, you're just like, draw a card on a stick. Draw a card. Oh, Ooh. Forerunner, I play a creature. I draw a card. Thanks. It's <laughs> pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. He's super hot. Silly. The next one, I can definitely see why it's there, because it, it, yeah. it doesn't really have enraged, but it, it helps you a lot. A Regisar Alpha. Yep. Uh, 
other dinosaurs have haste, and he, when he comes into play, get a 3 3 do trample. Like, he's just extremely solid for a dinosaur deck. Him with Forerunner triggers two enrage abilities if need be. I like it. He's I, a 4 4 for 5 all day. Yeah, I mean, he's just a, another extremely solid dinosaur card. Yeah, he's just, he's super good for it. Yes. The next one, he's a goofy little guy that came out with the new set, a oh, Trap yeah. Draw Tyrant. So this is the second card that I was like, I super want to play this card. <laughs> it's white, and so I need to make Naya deck dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever in Rage, he's a 5-5 five, five for 5 in white, which is weird. Like the power creep in Magic nowadays is just insane. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah. Uh, in Rage, you basically, when it's dealt damage, exile target creature until he leaves play. So that's multiple creatures that you can just be like, he's gone. Uh, Dell damage, he's gone. It helps, it makes them like, do they really want to block? Can they kill it? Can, you know, it's yeah, a it, lot of weird tricks. It gives you a lot of options in it just because he, he's like the little five drop angel right now that can do the same sort of ability, but he gets to do it multiple times. Multiple times, like multiple enraged triggers gets multiple creatures. It's it's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Who didn't want a fiend hunter more than once? All day. <laughs> exactly. So, all day. So that's why yeah, I really wanted to play him. All right, with that, that's all the dudes of the deck, the little creatures that give you there, the dinosaurs. Yeah. We'll move into some of the spells. What is this guy? Reckless Rage. Uh, I thought this was super solid. Even though you need a condition, you need a creature, but hopefully mm -hmm. you'll, you'll be having. With 25 creatures in deck, hopefully one's on the field. But deals 4 damage to target creature you don't control, and 2 damage to one you do. And besides the Ceratops, it should enrage anything else. Like... You kill a dude, you enrage trigger, you trap jaw something, you draw a card, you go get a land, like, or Ceratops is big enough, and put two more counters on him for one red mana, instant yeah. speed. And you're killing the dude? Yeah, yeah. Seems pretty good. Four damage is pretty hot right now. Oh, yeah. Four damage kills a lot in the in the standard, yeah. in the standard format. Next up is one of your favorite cards of the set. Yeah. Baffling End. What is this card for? Uh, the art is super silly, but the abilities are not. <laughs> yeah. Comes into play, exile target creature to three or less, which is just really good for two mana. It helps the early game while you're getting your big dudes out. And not many people might have enchantment control mm -hmm. out there right now. It's kind of up in the air right now. But whenever it leaves play, they get a 3-3 three, three dino. They don't get their creature back. Yeah, so you lose your creature that got removed, and you just get a dude. Yeah, yeah. All day. They, they, they get a dude, 3-3. Three, three. You can handle that pretty well with uh, anything else that you have here. So well, Yeah, the only real condition on it is it's got to be a 3 and under dude. Yeah, which so isn't too bad. It kills a lot. Yeah, yeah. Next up is one of my favorite cards, yeah. Thunder Herd Migration. It's it's really a far seek as long as you have a dinosaur in your hand because its additional cost is it pays one more or you reveal a dinosaur. Yeah. Um, and you search your library for a basic land card, put it into play tapped. Thunder. So, I mean... Three mana, you go get a basic land, put it in play, tapped, or if you reveal a dinosaur, it's two mana. Yeah. So by turn three, you could four runner, and then turn four... <sighs> yeah. The... The... The ability the, of this yeah. card to do things is just mind-boggling, because in this deck, you're going to have dinosaurs in your hand all the time. Yes. Like, so what you're playing is dinosaurs. You have two dudes that are not dinosaurs. So the likelihood of this triggering on turn two for an extra land is... Pretty safe. It's, it's very strong, yes. Yeah. The, the ramp in this new set is very nice and very fun. Alright, the next one, I'm gonna let Carl talk about because he loves it. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, of course, it's Sorcerer Speed, so it makes me super sad with it. Savage Stomp, though. Uh, it cost three originally, but with it targeting a dino, it only costs one green, and hopefully, you're gonna have dinos. So, turn three, hopefully. Turn two, Ceratops. Turn three, this, you have a 4 4 swinging in. And then maybe Reckless Rage as well to kill something else, Walking Ballista, you know, <clears> just <throat> anything. But by by that, no, I apologize, he's a 5-5, five because five, he gets a counter with Savage Stomp as well. So you're swinging turn 3, 5 damage. If they block, cool, he's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Like, that's pretty good. That's why I want Ceratops to work really bad. Ceratopses are good. Like, yeah, yeah. Just the idea of getting counters when you dealt damage is so good. Oh like, my god. I didn't even realize I forgot the other part. It fights as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> You're so yeah, yeah, yeah. well. So, You're so that, that's where the enrage trigger comes in with Ceratops. He becomes a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. Savage Stomp. So it's one mana technically with, yeah, with yeah. a dinosaur as long as you control it. And he gets a counter and it fights a dude. Yeah. 
Pretty, so, pretty good. One mana kill the dude, it's, and you get a counter? Yeah, it's a prey upon, but a little bit better, because yeah. of the counter. The counter really pushes it over the edge Yeah, to make it better. All right, well, it's we'll go into the lands. It's kind of basic, but it's super easy for what it does and what it, it gets the job done. Yeah, I haven't, of course, with lands, you need to shuffle it, play it out. So I haven't really got to do that at the moment. But basically, all the dual lands that you can, depending on the numbers, you'll see the list down below. Inspiring uh, Vantage, Root Bound Crag, Sun Petal Grove, and then the two uh, Amaket Cycle Lands, of course, the Red yeah. Green and the Green White. Uh, put them together and see how it goes. I like it. It 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 seems pretty solid for what a deck for what it needs to do. Yeah. I mean, it is very much a mid range deck, so just know that you're gonna need to get to the later part of the game. Yeah. Uh, but once you get there, it should turn turn to your favor pretty easily. Yeah. I only have 23 lands in the deck. You could probably easily make it 24. Uh, I just did that because 23 is my favorite number. I'm mm -hmm. old school. I'm used to 20. But with the uh, ramp spells, three of them, and also uh, the r raptors to go when it enrages you go to get a land because mm -hmm. we do have basics as well. And then you just like you're searching up pretty quick. I think it's I think it's a pretty solid little deck. It's it's yeah. easily able to take down an F and M. I it's it should put you on top. I do believe I have enough faith. Yeah, it that. just it it'll take a little tweaking to make make it like super competitive, yeah. but it could easily be a competitive deck. It just you'd have to tweak it to find out what it's good against and what it needs. Yeah, with Energy's wings clipped r mm -hmm. right now, uh, the sideboard takes care of them really well. Yeah, and with that, we'll move into the sideboard. We have three heroic interventions. Uh, it gives all your dudes hexproof and indestructible. We mm -hmm. we all know how we much we like hexproof here. Yeah, exactly. I love it. It's yeah, super nice. he he loves it. I'm okay with it. It's, <laughs> it's okay. Don't touch my dudes. That's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> don't glare at me like that. The next up we got is uh, lightning strike. It's uh, two mana, deal three damage to target creature player as an instant. Yeah, when you fight those aggro slightly to mid range now, they just get. Just, yeah, you need that all day. Yeah. Next up, we got Ixalan's Binding. Uh, I chose this over Cast Out because it's like Hazard comes into play. I want to exile it forever. I don't want to yeah. cast out on a turn and they play another Hazard and swing again. You know, screw that. So I just makes a long mind and get rid of it for sure. Or scare of God. Like, I don't want to deal with that anymore. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Next up is one of the best cards of, this, of the new standard set, and it's Settle the Wreckage. I mean, it gets rid of everything. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter what it is. Like, I uh, was watching, you know, the plays over the weekend. Most of them are, like, three-color decks, so you screwing the, you're not going to be too screwed over by the basic manas they get. And plus... Getting rid of all the energy creatures, all the vehicles, just everything. Yeah, it's four mana, instant, exile, all attacking creatures, target player controls. Yeah. And they get to search your deck for that many basic lands and put them into play tapped. Cool. cool. Great. Whatever. Go ahead. Your board is gone now. Thanks. I mean, you're at least going to get, like, two dudes and... Okay, cool. They get two lands. Great. Yeah. By, but by the turn this is going to be game-breaking is, like, turn seven. Because yeah. by turn seven, when they have, like, six dudes that you can't deal with, you remove them. They're going to only have, like, maybe three basics left. Yeah. So you're like, cool. You get all kinds of value out of four of those dudes. Exactly. They, sure, you can swing in, and then, of course, they can gang block your dinosaurs and, like, take them down like, yeah. as a tribe or whatever, but you don't want that to happen, so this helps you. And the next card that actually helps even more with that oh, yeah. is uh, Temple Altasar. The dude is a 3-4 for 5. And if a sorcerer deal damage to another dinosaur you control, prevent all but one of that damage. It's just, it's just uh, like, I love, this is also another card that I was like, I want to play this guy. He goes in dinos, of course. If you play against, let's say, another dino deck, if it gets popular, then you just win. Because all your dinos take one, and they just take all the damage. Yeah. And it, with enraged triggers, it just, like, it just helps you out. I mean, I saw this get pulled in the pre-release with the Temple Altasar and a yeah. Trapped Out Tyrant, and it... It's just silly, because yeah. you're like, I have five damage that you're never going to kill because you have to deal five different sources. Exactly. Because, I mean, it it doesn't matter what that source was, that source deals it's one. Just, just one damage. So, cool. That does 16. Great. I take one. Yeah. Uh, amazing makes all your dinos amazing blockers, too. Like, it's, it's just... He's so good. Yeah. He's... <laughs> For five mana, a three, four, that all my dudes take one, great. Limited bomb, I think he's super secret tech in my yeah. deck right now. He'll be tech in the in the standard dinosaur deck for sure. Oh, yeah. So go ahead and get some of those and check them out, man. It, yeah. 
for reals, this deck is going to be great for for uh, Friday Night Magics. It easily win a Friday Night Magic. Oh, yeah. Uh, even top, like I said, the sideboard is what makes it count to get mm -hmm. over the edge to destroy the meta right now. Uh, like, And also, this is what Brewing's all about. Getting a couple of cards and be like, I want to play this so bad. Yeah, that and it's... You're playing with dinosaurs. Yeah, like, of course. Yeah. It's like Jurassic Park. They just go <laughs> wild. They go wild and destroy things. Oh, yeah. But I enjoy it. I think y'all will too. Definitely need to go give it a like and... Go, go look at it, man. Yeah, uh, of course the deck list is going to be down below, so you get all those numbers sorted. And of course, with our new cameraman, he, our producer of the videos, he's putting a little number next to the cards, if you notice that. Please thank him for that. And if y'all have any questions or want us to make a certain deck or want Cardwell to think of some crazy little brews with some cards you want, oh, let yeah. us know down below. Uh, with that, uh, thank you for viewing. Thank you for staying here for on Geektopia Island. My name is William. And I'm Kevin. Hopefully you enjoyed your stay here. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and keep up to date with our future content. And please join us on our social media and check us out on Twitch.